Hi, this is Cindy Blanker. Welcome to my channel. If you like this video at the end, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and send it to someone who can use it. Today, we'll be talking about health, and actually, we'll be talking about something that I think is effect affecting a lot of people, and that is um, negativity. Negative, 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 negativity. Um, how to deal with that. Now, I'm reading a book right now with my family, with my son, and my with my man. Uh, it's called... Um, the Empowered Empath, and it's by Judy Dyer. And um, as my son and my partner are empaths, uh, in the book they're actually being taught how to deal with that, how to do, deal with being more sensitive to other people's feelings than others. And it's something that I had to learn how empaths actually think or feel or uh, absorb the energy of other people and how they find it more difficult to let all of these things go like I'm like I do so it doesn't mean that I don't have empathy for people not at all I think a lot of people have that but empaths are a little bit deeper than that they connect with people they can walk into a room and just sense the energy and feel when someone is in pain whether they know them or not uh, and we, of course you have different uh, uh, what is this you have different different levels some are higher some are lower but uh, my son it was so recognizable when he when we were reading the book and I think we we're reading like an episode or a chapter per day like how often he just got oh my god it's like this woman is looking to my head and she explains so well what I'm feeling so it's also teaching me how to deal with that so um, their question to me sometimes is, okay, but how do you do with this? Why, how do you deal with things and how are you, um, how do you let things go easier than us or, or not feel the same things that we do? Or how do you just handle that? And for me, I always say, I can't really take credit for who I am as a person, whether I gr grow to be that way or I was that from a child, I don't know. But I know that circumstances probably probably made me that this way because I know I was teased on as a child, like as a like really um, when I was even four, three or four, they were calling me names for my color, and that was in Amsterdam where we were living. Then we moved to Horen, <laughs> which is a small uh, small city in in uh, the Netherlands, and there I was only one of the three four children, black children at school. So again, uh, the, the, it was being repeated. I was being teased a lot and I think that went on until maybe I don't know if it was the fifth grade I was I wasn't always being picked on my 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 uh, um, luck was that I was strong I was strong I was willing to fight fight for my uh, for what fight for my right to party <laughs> I was really to fight so you know if someone would say hey you black I would you know, I would beat him up. I was, I was like that. I was quite aggressive. You know, I'm like the total opposite. You have to do a lot to get me angry. But I know from that time, I don't know where I get this, but I will get there. Because I was uh, very aggressive and I was, not wasn't aggressive. I was really reacting towards the negativity of other people. So one day my mother said, okay, I know these guys are picking up on you, picking on you and, you know, they're calling you names, but you just have to ignore it. And I was like, how am I going to ignore it? They're calling me names. I'm going to beat them up. And my mom was like, no, ignore them. That's what they want. You're giving them the attention. Take away the attention and they, they will go away. So I remember walking uh, uh, walking to home after school. And I was maybe around 10, something like that. And these guys always, always after school, they would call me names. Hey, black this, black that. And I was, And I was fighting. I was, you know, it was... You know, I wanted to run behind them and beat them up, but I was, I remembered my mother's words, let them. So the next day, the same thing, they were calling me names. I was walking by, I was, I wanted to beat them up so bad, you know, but my mom said, don't. And it went on like that for maybe a week. And after a week, I could see they were wearing off. They were like, she's not reacting. What's wrong with her? You were calling her all kinds of names. She's not even reacting. And I could even let go. I couldn't even hear them anymore after a few days. I was like, okay, I was just going in my own zone. And they started picking on someone else. So I was like, shit, that shit really... <laughs> I, didn't, I, I don't think I said that, but that's what I was thinking. That's This is really working. My mom was right. So it doesn't mean you have to ignore everything. But what you focus on expense, and I do believe that, if you tend to expect negativity or see a lot of negativity and you focus on that you're just going to get more and i'm not saying that all is your fault but i do believe in energy 
so this is one of the this is one of the things that i learned how to deal with that from okay do not give energy to the things that you don't want so the people that are picking on you up to up to a certain point you know but i was able to overcome that and when i went to high school i was a lot uh yeah i was a lot more laid back i wasn't you know i was a little bit more i wouldn't say reserved because i was always the joker but i was i was a little bit more you know confident and know that i didn't have to fight all, all the time just to you know show people that they shouldn't mess with me so um my whole life i think i've used humor humor as a as a way to you know make people happy to make people like me and um so that naturally that that's that state of mind it eliminates negativity because when people know that you're always joking you're always smiling they want to hang around you and you attract who you are so the most people that i hang out with were people that were also you know happy or, or, or my problem when i was younger i was also attracting a lot of people that were they wanted the same energy as you you know they were kind of negative or and and they wanted to be with someone like you to feel better and that's a great thing if that's actually what they want to do they want to get better they want to feel better and they hang around with people that make them feel better but there's a big um how you say that it can be uh, dangerous to be around those people that actually don't want to get better. They probably will take you down with them because they don't want you to, you know, I, I want I want to stay this way. And so they will be negative. They will be constantly, you know, um, breaking down your goals and dreams or just giving negative comments or, or t telling things behind your back, which you don't expect because, you know, like, hey, I'm always there for you. I'll why would you say that about me but that's because they can deal with positive things around them and those people cut them loose i'm, I'm just i'm just gonna be i used to i used to wanted to save everybody even if it would hurt myself i was always like well that person just needs help they want more they need more um confident and if you know i was like that person and it's great to help people that want to be helped but those who don't want to be helped they will stab you in the back not all not all of them but m many of them they will stab you in the back because they cannot get to the point where they want they want to be and if they see that you are they yeah some some people will do whatever it takes to take you off that of that place so they can be mis can be miserable with you or you can be miserable with them and that's dangerous and you can just tell it when someone is never really enthusiastic about your goals your dreams or your your you have a new dress on they never compliment or they give comments like you always you always get great uh, gifts by your boyfriend no it's those little little it, it, it might sound positive but it's a negative because you it's not wow i'm so glad you always have men that give you great uh gifts and you know you deserve that you're a great woman but you always get the best gifts you know i don't know why, where you find you really have to look at the tone and and sometimes have to ask them well what do you mean with that well and sometimes jealousy is is that thing that can break up people's relationships or friendships so for me to deal with negative ne negativity which i was going to talk about i just don't <laughs> what how do you do i don't i'm not saying that there's never any negative i just don't dwell on it I don't stay in it too long. The other day I had I had like a little conflict with a guy that and I don't know why, but he was really irritating me and it had to do with those mouth caps that you had to wear and it wasn't fully covered. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> oh. And I'm I'm always really peaceful, really quiet, always, you know, laid back. But this thing, this guy he just ticked me off. Oh yeah, I already I had missed like two trims or something so i was already l running late for my appointment and i just wanted to buy some cookies and he was like oh you don't wear your mouth cap and he, maybe he said it in a normal way but i was already irritated listen i was already so this is what i was attracting more irritation he was like your mouth and i was like i have it on what do you, what you're talking about? well you have it has to cover your nose i was like what do you mean it has, just give me my cookies and i'm i was i was rude <laughs> I was really rude and I, I don't think it has to do just with him because maybe he said it in a normal way but I was already aggravated if that's the right word about him you know t telling me about that because I was like dude what are you but you're behind some plastic thing I have my mouth cat up don't tell me how to wear I'm a grown-ass woman but actually I'm I'm stepping into their store they have the right 
so I'm still, you know, a little <laughs> irritated with him. But and at the same time, he has a point. It's 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 his right to say so. But I was re and I was later on, I was so angry about it. I was like, why is that? And you know, I'm human too. Sometimes I get irritated. I get negativity. But what I don't do is dwell on it. I don't talk about this years later on or weeks in or the whole day. You know, I just choose to let it go, if, especially if it's not helping. And usually it's not helping. So um, one of the, the one of the things I also say to my son, I said, you always want to help someone and you're worried about your friends. But I always say, and I've said this before, this was the best way for you to stop being negative, stop worrying about things. If you're worrying about something and you can do something about it, so simple. If you are worried about something and you can do something about it, why would you worry? Why would you spend your time worrying, overthinking? You can do something about it, so let it go. Okay? I have to pay this bill. I'm getting my money tomorrow. Don't go to, don't go spend your whole day being thinking about it, worrying about that bill. You're gonna pay it tomorrow. You have money. If that same bill tomorrow cannot be paid because you don't have money, why are you gonna worry about it? Can you pay it? No. Let it go. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but it's that simple. So worrying never helps. Being negative never helps. The minute you start, you try to flip that negative side, the negative view, and like, okay, but what can I do instead? What can I do? How am I being blocked? Or oh, these people are negative. What can I do? And that is the power that you have, is to change your view. The situations around you are not going to change, but your view can. And that's how I look. I'm not saying that there's never any negative negativity, but I'm at a point where I usually go back, okay, why, why is this, you know, pissing me off? <laughs> why am I irritated by this? Or, and, and it's normal. It's also a part of life, you know, it's okay. But just don't dwell on it. Just don't be negative all the time or, or draw more negativity to you or worry all the time or, you know, and I, and it's, and you can say it's easy for me to say, no, I've been there when I was literally 11 11 years old and i was in a fight with the entire classroom with the entire classroom no one was speaking to me i will tell you this story another no one was speaking to me and i had to do it by myself there were only like two people two or three people talking to me some would maybe sometimes say something secretly because they didn't want any trouble with the ones that were in a fight with me but no everyone in, can you imagine that for three four weeks the whole classroom not talking to you and you're a black girl in a white in a white city and i had to make it on my own so i had to find my own way to be happy because it was either do or die so i was like i'm gonna you know uh, i was making crazy funny songs i was doing a lot of uh, drawing and drawing i was playing outside we know because i did have friends outside but so i was creating my own happy place because the environment I was in at school wasn't so happy. I couldn't play with anyone during the breaks because everyone was really avoiding me because they didn't want to get into trouble. And I just thought, you know, I might as well have the best time with myself. And and that's why I've always been good at hang around, hang, hanging around with myself. You know, it's not pathetic, but you have to really like yourself and love yourself and find things that you can find peace in doing by yourself. And and how to know how to get away out of that negative feelings or emotions or, or negative people if someone's around you and you constantly have this feeling you know i've been in a relationship that every time the guy came in uh, my whole mood was shifted you can just it was really like a black cloud came over and it doesn't mean that he was a bad guy or something it just meant that he was not for me and that energy it was not working for me so I have to step out. So what is the energy of the people around you doing for you? What is the energy of the workspace, your school, and how sometimes you cannot change that. Sometimes you can't. Most of the times you can, but sometimes you can't. Then all, all you can do is change your view around you and make sure that you use a natural way to block those people. And you can. You can that those people. They'll, you, have this, you have this quote, be so happy like negative people can't even stand to be around you like if you're such a pod they they will be annoyed they will be like no this person is always and you know and that's usually the case so i really hope this video helped this was really long a long video it didn't mean to go this long but i really hope you helped please try to stay positive optimistic know there's always a way out 
and you can always find a way to improve yourself get out of a situation and you're allowed to be sad you're allowed to cry of course just don't dwell on it that's all i say don't don't spend years months weeks into something that you might can simply change or cannot see you next time